Hello, my name is Matt Forshaw and I'm the technical lead for iTrack Drilling Automation. And today I'm going to give you a brief introduction to how iTrack can improve efficiency in upstream well construction and integrate with remote service delivery models. I think it's very important to set expectations whenever we talk about automation in the upstream well construction world. And that's why I always like to show this image first of a Waymo self-driving car. This is not the level that we're at when it comes to automation in upstream well construction. But if we were all sat in a room here together and I went around the room and asked how many of you have ABS, how many of you use Google, Google Maps for navigation, how many of you have cruise control, 80, 90, 100% of people would put their hands up. And that's exactly what we're doing with iTrack and drilling automation at the moment. If we think about all of those items that I just listed, they're all things that make the driving experience either safer or more efficient or more enjoyable. They're automating a component part of it, but they're not an autonomous self-driving car. And again, this is what Big Hughes is doing with iTrack. We're automating component parts of the drilling process to make it more efficient or to make it safer or to make it easier for our personnel. If we first consider a high level architecture of Big Hughes' drilling automation system, we must first look at what Big Hughes provides in terms of hardware and software solutions to the rig site or remote operation service centers first. And the central part of this is an aggregation server which connects to surface acquisition systems as well as downhaul tools which are providing data through other systems decoding its surface. On the top of this aggregation server, we then deploy our monitoring and control applications that look at things like directory control or hydraulics. This system also has a link into our planning platform, which allows it to have visibility of the plan and to continually update that plan in real time. When we think about drilling automation, we are, what we actually want to do is we want to change parameters for rig actuators to be able to optimize the drilling process. And that's what I'm showing on the right hand side here. Um, mechanical actuators such as the draw works, the drop drive and the rig pumps and also personnel that are associated with these such as the driller and sensor readings that we can get from various sensors associated with these actuators or other roof equipment. To complete the picture we need to have an interface between these two worlds, the drilling equipment provider and the oil field service company and this allows us as an automation system to pass either set points, set point limits, to send downlinks through pump modulation or to simply send advice for a visualization to the driller. Finally, it also allows us to acquire surface measurements in addition to our own from the rig surface acquisition sensors. In the pre-well planning phase, our engineers produce a pre-job model in dual suit drilling engineering, our new digital well planning software. This is then passed to the remote operation center where it's QC'd prior to going below rotary table. That engineering pre-job model can then be deployed in real time and continuously updated with real time sensor data from both surface and downhaul sensors, which allows the simulations to be updated, effectively updating the plan in real time and providing us with a digital twin of a downhaul drilling environment. That digital twin then allows us to run monitoring and control automation applications, such as our tripping advisor, automated torque and drag service, a long string wellbore pressure service, and hole cleaning advisor. If we consider any hydraulics calculations, perhaps the most fundamental variable that must be input is the mud parameters, density, temperature, and fluid rheology. In our legacy workflows, fluid engineers would take these samples at a very low frequency every 6, 12 or 24 hours, and then they would be manually entered into an engineering software for simulation results. With iTrack in conjunction with automated fluid monitoring sensors from our DCF product line, those parameters, density, temperature and fan 75 or 77 readings are continuously digitally transferred to the iTrack automation platform and populated in the digital twin model. And this is empowering our dynamic velocity monitoring and ILT reduction from our tripping advisor service. It's improving hole cleaning with our real-time modeling of cutting speds and advisory service for flow rate. And it's allowing us to produce simulated along the string pressure regime monitoring. iTrack and other digital technology is empowering remote operations service delivery models. If we consider our legacy service delivery model for a North Sea operation, we have 5.25 personnel 
per rig per tower, and the majority of these were a rig site. The model we have now moved to is a system or a, a a model where we have 43% reduction in personnel and the vast majority of these personnel have now been removed to a remote operations center. This brings with it cost savings in terms of reduction in bed space and helicopter flights offshore and obviously a reduction in carbon emissions per head associated with well construction. Perhaps what is more exciting though than the cost savings cited previously is the KPI improvement the digital technology along with remote operations service delivery models can provide. What I'm showing here is a case study from a single asset on the North Sea continental shelf and I'm showing 12, 12 and a quarter inch sections drilled from that asset in chronological order. As we went through this period of time we increased the maturity of our IO level 3 remote operations service delivery model and also introduced digital technology such as iTrack. What we see is a continuous performance improvement in terms of ROP, with well number 11 being the best ever 12 and a quarter inch section ever drilled from that asset. Additionally, wells 7 through 12 were all drilled with our iTrack drilling automation system in either an advisory or a closed loop control mode of our rotary steerable assemblies. Thank you for listening. Hopefully that gave you a quick insight into the technology behind the services available and the benefits in terms of KPI improvements that iTrack can provide. Big Hughes firmly believes that the combination of iTrack and some of its other contemporary digital technology, along with remote operation service, services, are bringing a step change in terms of well construction, making well construction costs more reduced and more repeatable. If you'd like to learn more about iTrack drilling automation or any of our digital or remote service delivery products, please get in touch with a big Hughes representative. Thank you.